He's a rapper. He's a fictional character. He's Czar Face. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we are checking out Ultimates once again. And it is the legendary Czar Face with this really dope slipcover. Check that out. He's got those pointy fangs. <laughs> dope metallic foil. Really reflective. Really cool artwork. Some quick thoughts, right? As I was checking them out here in the package, haven't opened them up just yet. You see the wrap there, that little metallic uh, aluminum tie. And immediate impressions that made me wonder, you see how he's kind of like contorted here in the box? Well, that made me think that that upper diaphragm cut might have, might have some generous range because he is kind of like really lean to one side. And that made me think, man, if that piece has some really good range and it's smooth, it's a game changer for this figure. My immediate thought when I saw him was, wow, look at, I mean, just look at that powder blue, the gloss red, the red cape with the high collar pieces, the metallic everywhere, the translucent red around the abdomen and the upper thighs. He is a banging looking figure, all the different hands. Zarface Super 7. All right, on the other side, we have the bio Zarface Superhero, Super Group, Super What? So this figure is part fictional superhero created by the Super Group, Esoteric 7L Inspector Deck and Artist Lamore Supreme. They are from Earth 808 in the war-torn streets of Zarlem. Zarface is a champion to the righteous, a menace to the corrupt, and a villain's worst nightmare. So this figure is particularly dope because it represents a real person, a rap persona, Zarface, but it's also a fictional character that has superpowers and he has all these super abilities. It talks about he's a master of martial arts and weaponry and, weaponry and all kind of stuff. Check out the bio. Let's get him out. I was trying to move him around as I got him out of the package and I just kept saying, wow, this is a great figure. Wow, this is a great figure. Now, the movement up here in the diaphragm cut isn't as generous as I thought. Some decent movement backward and forward with the waist and the diaphragm cut. You'll only get about that much, you know, but of course you can always activate the hips. And in terms of swivel with the diaphragm cut, it is good. It's really good. You'll get them all the way around no problem, nothing will catch on you. And that's really great. Let's get these arms out. The spike up here is positioned well enough on the outer portion of his deltoid that you can get the arm close to 90 there. When you rotate out, the spike is on the other side and you can get the arms really, really pointed up. And that is really great for some flight poses, but his neck, I just tried it. You know, limited range here in the head as usual with ultimates. So in terms of a flight pose, he really won't look forward for you when he's flying. But he could totally get those hands up there without a problem. It has swivel in the upper thigh. I think it moves really fluidly, really nice. Swivel in the bicep, swivel here at the forearm, no. Let's swivel there at the hand, of course. The cape is tucked. Wow, that's cool. The cape is tucked under these metal pieces. As usual, I've got weird shit going on with my lighting. <laughs> Let me try that. Jeez Louise, man, I got all these like cubes and I bought this thing here and I'm trying, I'm trying, I am trying to get my lighting situation together. Oh yeah, the macho man of lighting. <laughs> the collar piece here is very generous. And what I wanted to say was that the cape is tucked under these two pieces here that have spikes and those are hard spikes. So I think that that is really clever and works well. Keeps the cape out of the way. Not bunchy here by the shoulders. This figure is dope. This figure is dope. The fact that it's a fictional character created by a super group of hip-hop MCs 
That's even more awesome. And Super 7 nailed it. I've never seen an action figure of Zarface before. I, I know that there are some short uh, five POAs of the figure, but a fully articulated fictional character based on from the hip hop universe. I've never seen this before. And if this is a first, Super 7 just set the bar. And man, I hope there's more coming down the line. I remember Wu-Tang specifically had a comic series. It was a short run, but they were comic book superheroes. I know they were martial artists and stuff, but you know what? Those concepts aren't dead. You could definitely revisit those concepts. And I would love to see more fictional characters based on rappers and hip-hop MCs. Hell yes. This guy looks dope. This feature right here, this translucent red, as soon as I saw it, I thought to myself, there it goes. That's the answer to the question about uh, Skeletor from the new Motu Revolution on Netflix. How would you duplicate that galactic Skeletor vibe? You know, the abdomen, for those of you that know what I'm talking about. This is the answer right here. That's the answer. A translucent abdomen piece with the upper diaphragm swivel, swivel at the waist, and give him that galactic swirl on the inside. Hell yes. You've got more of that over here. Swivel, like I mentioned. You're going to get a perfect split with this figure pretty much. No, okay. The armor catch is there. But you could swivel a little bit. The metallic is beautiful. Here at the knees, you could get some swivel with the with with the knee here but it's not sculpted for that and you'll get some tension and some strain if you try to swivel it fully all the way around the sculpt of the thigh here no boot swivel toe down toe up i really like the design on these feet the lower portion of his boots i think he's so funky looking man the waves and this portion of the armor kind of like colossus or an iron man here in the boots then clean metal on the thigh the galactic effect here around his tor his lower torso area oh you have the galactic effect here also up by the shoulder wow so is czar face just like this galactic effect underneath these armor elements I don't know. I honestly don't know the answer to that. But that's a dope concept. You know, this here is to receive rockets. So let's give him some rockets. I, yo, I cannot believe this is essentially a, a, a hip hop superhero, bro. This is so cool, bro. He has like powers. You know who else exists in that realm? Bobby Digital. And we're going to, I mean, I expect we're going to get a, a seven inch Bobby Digital. And if they do the job with the seven inch Ultimates Bobby Digital that they did with the five POA reaction, we're going to have another Grand Slam just like Zarface. Because I'm calling it, this is, this is a Grand Slam Ultimates figure. Yeah, I'm biased because I love hip hop. But just look at that thing. How unique is that? This is so cool. This is so freaking cool. Hell yes. Let's look at some more accessories. He has the single rocket. And this one has the tail fire. And I really like these. These grasping translucent red. So this is definitely Czar face underneath the armor. Again, he's this, this energy being, I guess. I'm not sure. Powder blue hands. These things are dope, bro. Silver finger points. The spike knuckles. And he has one left fisted hand. And it's red. And the red hand that's a fist goes on the blue gauntlet side, which is interesting. A couple of extra portraits. We have... I'm not sure if he's shooting. Yeah, he's definitely shooting some kind of power effect out of his eyes. And that looks tough. He's got the mouth open a bit. You see the fangs. And then we have another one. And this one has his mouth open. And I guess he has the ability to shoot some kind of power out of there. He doesn't have any power effects in the box. But you do see that sculpted detail in there. And that is dope. Something that also caught my attention really quickly was the cape. I think it looks dope. The tattered effect. The fact that it is... Double stitched, right? Gives it some extra depth and very cool. Nice, hefty wire to it. I love the collar. You know, you can bend it, gives it, give it the points. 
Very cool. Let's look at uh, today's theme comparison before we move on. The Notorious B.I.G. Baby, baby. And I'm going to get him to stand right there. Where to go big. And I'm also going to bring out... Whoop. Got your foot messed up there, bud. I'm also going to bring out ODB, who, by the way, has Timberlands on, but he still has toe articulation all the way down and up in those Tims, and he's got the foot rocker. As we look ahead, I'm looking forward to Bobby Digital. As I mentioned, I want to see him in a metallic version, and then I definitely want to see him in his standard colored version. So that's going to be super dope. I would love to see... The Wu Tang Clan, maybe their 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 fictional representations from the comic books, or even some other uh, versions of them. For example, uh, Raekwon the Chef with his bloody apron, right? Blood on Chef's apron. So what if we got a fictional hero character version of Raekwon the Chef, and it is an artistic rendering of Raekwon with his bloody apron? And he is a fictionalized character with a bio. What if we got something like that? What if we got a Frank White? Right? This is the Notorious B.I.G., but what if we got a Frank White? You know, a Biggie as a mobster dressed up really, really nice in some throwback mobster gear, you know? Um, I think those would be some really, really cool ideas. You know, we could go back into the 80s and, and we could do a character off of LL Cool J and Big Daddy Kane or even Slick Rick, you know? And I think that would be really, really dope. As always, everybody, thank you so much for coming out and sharing in the experience of collecting toys as an adult. And I hope you're able to keep coming back and share some experiences, too. Until next time, everybody, thank goodness it's playtime.